Hi everyone, welcome to my video tutorial for how to hack a scratch game. Okay, let's get started. So first we'll go to the website scratch.mit.edu and we'll find the game we're going to hack which is called Zombies Ghost. Oops, it's one of my favorite scratch games and it's made by Acer Games 2. There we go. But Rather than hacking the original, we're actually going to hack a remix of this game, which I've made specially for us. So to do that, we're going to go to the remix tree. And the neat thing about that is you can then see all the different remixes that people have made, and that's the one I've made there, so let's go there. <clears throat> okay, great. Now to hack the game, all we need to do is click C inside. As you can see now, not only oops, just get rid of that. Not only can we see the the playing area, which is over here on the left at the top, we can also see our sprites down the bottom left, all of our script options, and our actual script and code over to the right hand side here. So what we've got to do is first make sure that we've selected the player sprite. And then over on the script side, on the right hand side there, if we go down to the, this little block that I've created here, when the green flag is clicked, set all these variables. This is where I've set the variables and this is where we can change them. So let's say we were to <clears throat> give our player more health, we could start with maybe 999 health. Then we'll try it out, we'll just simply go and play the game. Now, sometimes you'll see this unresponsive script happen, I just click stop script and it seems to work okay all right so in this game we aim with the mouse can move around with the w um, a s and d keys and we press space to do stuff like open doors uh oh i haven't got enough money to open the door i better shoot some zombies and as you can see at the top here my health is 999 because of that cool hack that i did well what if we wanted to change something else like Notice how I move around the screen here. I can walk around, but I walk fairly slowly. Let's just stop the game. We'll go in and we'll change the speed. Oops. Let's change our speed. Instead of being 3.5, we'll make it 5. Let's see what that does. Yeah, cool. Okay. So we'll start the game again. And now, oh yeah, I move a, bit, a little bit faster now. So I can escape those zombies. That's pretty cool. But maybe, I mean that's all pretty cool, but maybe I want to actually beat my friends. And so what will happen is I'll, I'll challenge them to a game and see who can get the most points. And so I want actually, I want the speed to stay at 3.5, but I'm going to give myself a special little cheat code. Now, what I'll do is I'll secretly add this little hack in here. When F key is pressed, then set speed to 7 and we'll duplicate that and let's say when S key is pressed set speed back to 3.5 so that means at the beginning of the game the speed will be set to 3.5 but when I'm playing if I secretly press F then I'll speed up to 7 and then if I press S for slow F for fast, F for slow is what I, what I used it would go down to 3.5, so when I challenge my friends, I'll be able to go real fast, but they will just go the normal speed, unless they're awesome like us and know how to hack. Let's try that out. So play the game, got normal speed, I'll press F. Ooh, now I'm going extra fast. Now, what other hacks could we do? Well, we could make our um, bullets more powerful, we could get better more ammo, we could maybe make our gun reach further, we could do all sorts of things. We could even add in abilities that don't already exist in the game, like let's say we wanted to make ourselves go invisible, we could maybe using some of the um, script steps that are available or Radiant Scratch, we could do that, like we could look at our player here and we could go into looks, maybe we could change some effects, we could change our ghost effect by 
um, maybe five. No, and we could repeat that maybe 20 times, five times 20 is 100, so that would mean that we're fully ghosted, you know, and we could do that, that if, if we press a certain key, maybe if we press G for ghost, then we turn into a, you know, we all ghost ourselves, and then maybe we would, I don't know, wait a few seconds, and then we could, <clears throat> And ghost, by right? changing the ghost effect by minus five. So it would basically gradually we'd ghost ourselves, then gradually change back. Maybe just make that two seconds. Let's try that out. Alright, so now we're playing the game, we can move, we can shoot. We've got our awesome high health that we hacked. We've got our awesome gun that we didn't hack. We've got fast movement, if we press F so we can run around faster, we can press S and go slower again. F, fast again. Now actually S was probably a bad choice because of course S is also the down um, key in this. And what if we go G? What if we go? Ooh, there we go, we disappeared. And then we come back again. There we go, we disappear. And then we come back again. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so that's just a couple of ideas of ways that we could hack our game, all using the player sprite. If you go into the bullets, there's other things here. Look, you could change the, the strength of a bullet here. We've got bullet strength variable, which Acer Games 2 has kindly put in for us. So we could make, we could do that. We could make our own new guns to add into the game. If we look at the player costumes, depending which gun that they're holding, they have a different costume. So we could, you know, add a costume for that gun and then add in a bullet that's appropriate to that gun as well. There's heaps you could do. Have fun with it. Okay, thanks for watching.